New England Living TV is brought to you by Clark, Sub-Zero, Wolf & Co. Kohler Signature Store by Supply New England and Marvin Windows and Doors. And of course, please stop into the all-new Seven Tide in the Seaport District in Boston. Today I'm on my way to the southwestern tip of Cape Cod, to Falmouth, Massachusetts, my hometown, and the hometown of Catherine Lee Bates, who wrote the famous poem, America the Beautiful. Falmouth was settled by English colonists in 1660 and incorporated in 1686. It has been a popular summer destination dating back to the late 1800s. It's known for its lovely beaches, the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institute, and Marine Biological Laboratory. Falmouth also is favored for its close proximity to the islands of Martha's Vineyard and Nantucket and the ferry services to those islands. Falmouth is also known by runners. The Falmouth Road Race, an annual race started in 1973, draws more than 10,000 runners from all over the world. I'm on my way to meet Dan, Lori, and their three children in their renovated 1890s carriage house. The couple has raised and are raising their family in Singapore, an island off the southern tip of Malaysia, about 10,000 miles away. And this is their summer home, where they spend a few precious weeks a year. Dan is a software executive, and Lori is a charity director in Cambodia. Originally from New England, the couple wanted to make sure their children had New England roots, and this home in this town plays an important part in that. We're going to meet the family, tour this historic home, and then Lori and Dan are turning their kitchen over to a local chef and me, and we're going to cook up a feast and celebrate New England living in Falmouth, Massachusetts. Hello. Hi. Parker Kelly. Dan McConaughey. Welcome to the Carriage House. Thank you. There's so much character here because it was an original barn built in 1890. We've actually put two unique doors right in the foyer. The first one is it's this rapid. It's curved door. Yes. We think it's quite old. People think it's maybe 17th century because of the this low is handle. This is original. And then we have another door, antique door over here. Oh, wow. And this stained glass actually is the view of our pond in the backyard. Oh, well, what a lovely entry with history right there and then beauty and then a scene. I love yes. it. Let me show you my office. Oh, this is your office? Yes. Okay, so cool. I get to go into the curved door. Correct. Oh, this feels fun. Oh, this is interesting. So this is a ship captain's cabin and that window is actually from a ship. Oh my heavens, look at this. Oh, you love your builder. <laughs> your builder's amazing. And I need a separate office because I live and work out of Singapore, which is 12 hours ahead. Oh, okay, right. So I have to work a lot of late nights. Oh. When everybody's sleeping, this is where I make my calls. Nice and quiet. When you guys first saw this home, it obviously didn't look like this, but you, could, you had that vision that this could be amazing. This street, I've always wanted to live in for the last 30 years. As, Seriously? Yes, this is my favorite street of all of Falmouth. <laughs> and when we got it, it was abandoned for about five years. So my wife looked at it and she said, absolutely not. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. She said <laughs> not. A, a, a yeah. dirt basement. Yeah. It was very moldy and musty inside. The close was my two daughters said, if you buy this house, we will commit to have our wedding in your backyard. No, they did not. They yes, did. They did. Oh, and my wife so looked at me and she said, that's the home we want to build. Let's do this. Oh my God, you just gave me chills on that one. Oh, so well, for me, it's all about the family. So yes. if my kids are coming back, they want to come to our home, then I'm sold. Yeah, that's yeah. lovely. Tell me what's original, what's not. I'm just going crazy. This, uh, is, this is new? This, this was here. The carriages would come through here. There'd be a big door here. The stable boys would take the horses and the carriages and wash them, and this okay. is the original drain. Oh, and you left that too, that's And we beautiful. absolutely left it, made mm. sure it was conditioned. Oh. And then when the, they were cleaned, the horses would be taken up this ramp and they'd be putting in, into their stables. This space, we didn't know what we wanted to do with quirky. this. What we did is we took this space, which was the original fireplace, that he did the, for the horses. And, and we were able to, to have that woodwork built in so that we could get the wine racks in. Oh my goodness, what a story. Every minute, every second, every step. <laughs> wow. This pole, mm -hmm. uh, we actually kept this. This is what they all look like around these wooden poles. 
there, there was a stable, and the stable would come here, and oh, it would come here. Oh, I can see that now. What we tried to do is, is, is keep the old, but also bring in the new. Yeah. And uh, my father's a, a builder, and I actually worked with him for every school break, every summer break. Oh, you did? I did, oh. through high school and college. That's how I paid, paid for college. You know, when I decided to do this project, my father's retired now for about 20 years. I called him up and said, do you want to do one more project? And he's like, he's like, yes. yes. And I said, well, let's make this, yeah. let's make this a dream project. We started from the basement up, and what I saw was, I was amazed at the structure, the way it's built, the steel columns, the footing starting. This building hasn't moved in a hundred years. So you had, you had to keep your finger on the pulse here I while did. he was in Singapore and you were his eyes and his ears and, and everything else. The best part of this project is I got to spend a year with my dad on one project that hopefully we're going to be proud of forever. Oh, I can't imagine. Me, I enjoyed it. It was a lot of work, but I enjoyed it. Yeah, now how many ho homes had you built in your career? Oh, many, many. Yeah. Yeah. Had you had any, ever person. seen anything like this before? Nothing. We did some interesting things. So what's your favorite part of this whole home? Well, I, I think a, a lot of work was put into these coffee ceilings, mm. and the balance, I like it. Yeah. Well, what a special thing for you guys to work on a project like that together. Just amazing. Really so nice to chat with you and meet you. This is actually an addition put on, and when I was designing this, I really wanted it to feel almost like a ship as well. I felt so that when I walked in. Mm -hmm. and just keep it crisp and clean and big windows so that we could just take advantage of the view. It's a beautiful view. Mm -hmm. And that's the location where my two daughters say they want to have their wedding. Oh, I thought what a spot for a wedding. Mm -hmm. Are you kidding? I can picture it now. So the kitchen is actually my favorite spot in the whole house, mostly for the views, but also we do so much entertaining, so... Now who does the cooking? My wife yeah, I does. I do all the cooking. Oh, you do? Yes. Oh, yes, that's I lovely. do. And we have up to 40 people a night for multiple nights, so it, she really does a lot of cooking. This is a major change we did to the house. This is our actual master bedroom now. Oh. So this space was actually a living room. Oh, this is funky. This feels very city loft. <laughs> like, this makes a very cool headboard. It does, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Here, this is your ensuite. Correct. Oh, so. I'm a big fan of this. Oh, look at your chandelier. That's very cool. Welcome to my room. Oh, wow, you got extra beds in here. Yeah. Very nice. Oh, I love that ladder with the bunks and the built-in bunks. Yeah, that's all credit to my mother. And all your design. design. Let's go into the girls' room. Now, this was originally the master when we moved here. Hi. <laughs> Hi, girls. Oh, pretty aqua. So this is pretty nice. It is. You think? It's beautiful. You this think? This is actually the best room to watch uh, the sunrise because you have a perfect angle of the pond. Let's go to the guest house. Now, th this is the end of the carriage house, and there's a walkway on the second floor between the two homes. Oh, this is all blue. Person. Yes. <laughs> this is going to serve two purposes. Uh, first, we have overseas visitors, so again, they're jet lagged. They can come here, they can shut the door, it's very quiet. And the second is, we're hoping our children, you know, have grandchildren. Yes. And they can be, feel comfortable being here, mm -hmm. shutting the door. So part, but not, not, not too, too part, right? They still yeah, have right. their own family yes. space, right? Thank you. Oh, nice. Oh. And the cue, the sailboats, isn't that perfect? The cupola here is one of the uh. interesting architectural designs that was in the original uh. house in 1890. It was? It was. And that's lit up at night. Oh, really? And I've already had some boaters tell me when it gets difficult and foggy, they miss the harbor, they look for this. Oh, really? This is now becoming a boater's landmark. Oh, People are great. guiding from this now, coming off of Martha's Vineyard or Nantucket, trying to come into Falmouth Harbor. And oh, yeah, the dock and the hammock and the chairs and the view. This just begs me to wonder what your home in Singapore must be like. It's a high rise. We're on the 17th floor. Really? It would be like downtown Manhattan. So really? 
This is a totally different living experience. Yeah. So we go from high-rise city to the ocean. New England Living TV is brought to you by Clark, Sub-Zero, Wolf & Co. Kohler Signature Store by Supply New England and Marvin Windows and Doors. And of course, please stop into the all-new Seven Tide in the Seaport District in Boston.